Hello, my fellow battle brawlers. Uh, welcome to, welcome back in or to my channel. Uh, so in this, we will we'll be starting opening up the new Wave 3 Armored Alliance Bakugan. Or not Wave 3, the first wave of the Armored Alliance 3 packs. 3 pack Bakugan. Um, now I am excited for these, but unfortunately, and I'm pretty worried at the moment, um, that we might not get them, because here in Canada, uh, we, the last three packs we got were wave six, and then we got these things in. Uh, we have not yet to have, like, the wave seven or eight three packs. Um, I'm pretty worried, because I do want all those Bakugan, uh, and I don't know if we will be getting them here in Canada. I hope we do, but it doesn't look like it. And if how distribution works, it's like a complete mystery uh, to me. Someone, if if someone uh, can write down in the comments if they know that Canada or any other countries will be getting the wave seven or eight uh, three packs, uh, let me know, please, because I am worried and I do want those things. Uh, I have contacted on multiple platforms the like the Bakugan. I don't know, uh, like what, Twitter, on their Facebook, I asked Ventus Knight in the Discord, but I have yet to have a response, and it's been, like, a week or a couple days since then. Uh, I've yet heard everything, and I'm pretty worried. But anywho, with all that worry aside, we will be starting off with the new Armored Alliance 3 packs. Uh, this one here is the Orlis Nilius Ultra Aquas Pegatrix and Chaos Trox. Um, yeah, Bakugan starter pack. It comes with a Bakugan gate trainer in there. Uh, now will it be Magnus or will it be the, um, whatever that new Oralis guy is? I don't remember his name off the top of my head. I have, no, I got his thing. I got his gate trainer here. Uh, this kid, uh, which I doesn't say his name. It doesn't say his name, but it's the guy with the feral. I don't know if we'll get this one, or if we'll get Magnus, because it's uh, Nilius. Or if we'll get, like, um, I don't know, Winton, or Leah, or someone, or, uh, who's Aquas? Shun? I don't know. Um, yeah. So, apparently, Nilius is a level 2. Um, that's what they look like all out and everything. Now, on the packaging, I know what they did. They have some, uh, there's something on the back. You see he is, like, all silver here. But if you look on the bottom, he has, uh, like, a gold neck. Um, because I know they originally were doing them silver. I know some of, um, the Orlos Bakugan have a silver paint instead of the gold. That was, like, kind of a first print. And then, like, their second printing of them, they had gold. Just to show Orlos, as you know, is like, a golden Bakugan and everything. But there's, like, still some silver, as you can see on his legs and all that. Um, yeah, so we'll, so, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Anywho. Uh, yeah, so this comes with one Bakugan Ultra, two Bakugan, six Bakugan Cores, three ability cards, three character cards, uh, one collectible training card, one instruction sheet, and one Bakugan toy battling rule sheet. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like how in these things they had a hook on them, even though they were just kind of like standing up on the shelf when I saw them at my Walmart, uh, which is interesting. And also, I find with the Bakugan in Walmart, they gave them, like, a gray shelf. With the rest of the shelves are the normal ones, which is interesting. But I kind of like that. Um, yeah, if you want a comparison of packaging-wise to how the new and old three packs are, I still have yet to open this thing. Because uh, I plan on opening it. Because this is from Wave... I think the Wave 8. Either one of the Waves. I think it's, like, from the Wave 8 three packs. Uh, I wanted to finish off oh, those Waves with opening this thing. But it doesn't look like I will be getting that chance as here in Canada. They have not released the Wave 7 or 8s. And they went straight to this thing. Because Spin Master is really stupid. Whoever is distributing things. Whoever's in charge of uh, distribution over at Spin Master. Uh, get your... Uh, just get it together and do it properly. Do it how the customers want it to be done. So we can get the products that we want. Because I know we don't have... Because we have one more wave of the cores and ultras to get out. And I know, like... I mean, like, two more waves of the, um... Uh, we got two more waves of these things we need to have. And then we have another wave of the five packs. 
Um, cause I know there's a lot of people that want Bakugan specifically from those things. Uh, and also, I know I have the box here somewhere of it, but in a previous video I did of the, um, uh, the battle bundle that was like an American exclusive thing, uh, which we haven't had it here in Canada yet or in any other countries. <sighs> All right, Farrell, I'll get on with the opening. Keep it together. Keep it together, Farrell. Fine, I'll get on. I'll stop with my ranting. But no, in the comments below, um, let me know if you agree or not with how Spin Master is doing their distribution because I think it sucks and they're not doing it properly. And uh, let's get it together. All right, so let's just open this thing up. Uh, if I can figure out how to do that. Looks like he has tape up here, up there, down there, and down there. So let's put the scissors away, for now at least, and then go on to the other side to get up the knife. Okay, um, so let's start, uh, let's go with this side, this side, because I don't know how this opens, so I'll just cut up all the tape, I'll cut up all the tape. Ugh. Well, I'm cutting open and opening this. Someone at, if anyone like that works at the Spin Master in the Bakugan division, uh, please let me know if we are getting the waves seven and eight. Um, because I know I, as well as many other people, really want them to come out, and I do not like how they're just they just skipped it. I don't know if how is how distribution of how like they're two different things from Armored Alliance to Battle Planet, if um, they're like different and all, but yeah, how the heck do I open this? Or do I just like rip the back of it? Um, Cause I'm getting that vibe, like I just have to rip the back off of it, pretty much. I'm getting that vibe, I'm trying to look at seams here and we got like a little uh, thing here that like, you can go in. I don't know. I'll just go ahead and start ripping it from the back here then. Oh my god, these things are a pain. I have no idea how to open these things. I guess you want to get scissors out for this. But yeah, or you can just do that. Oh my god. Why couldn't you have used this packaging? It was fine. Why make it so much more complicated? I don't know. But anywho, let's get out our uh, packaging. Our package there. And just take this thing out. Uh, with Bakugan. Oh, are they being stupid again? Jeez. Oh, come on. There's, there's one. And there is two. Okay. So with this, you kind of have to work at it a bit, as you can see here. Um, slightly frustrating. Let's get all the back who cores out and to the side. Uh, and here we have Nilius. He is trapped in there with restraints. So now is the time where I do get out my teeny tiny scissors and just snip, snip it there. All right. Push on that. And there we got Nilly instead of the packaging. All right, yo. And then we can put all of this plastic back in. Back in there. Put it to the side. Okay. Stack it back and forth. Zoom in. Oakley. And Oakley. Okay, let's take a look at what is in this fucking thing first. This is the toy battle like instruction sheet, which we don't need. We didn't see it, but it landed right there, which is interesting. Um, the instructions for Nilius in the checklist, we'll put that to the side for now. All right, so 
let's say let's so the gate trainer yeah it is the feral kid which i've been blanking on his name but yeah that's him all right so what it looks like is that if it's an orlis back on it'll come with the orlis guy uh I, I can't remember his name at the moment heck if i know if they even said it in the show um but yeah um and then I, what i'm assuming pirates you get dan Hayas, leah ventus winton so on and so forth although heck if i know if you get magnus in one of them can lightning and then you know i don't know i haven't looked at all of the trainers anywho let's get on to what cards it comes with uh, so it comes with a Baku Gear card. Interesting. Um, so for 5 energy, plus 500 BP power. I mean, that's not the best, but, I mean, for it, it's high cost. But if you land on one of those low-cost cores. Uh, Baku Thrusters. Bolt Blow. Ooh. Uh, then we have the character cards. So Pegatrix here. Uh, 3 Fist. Or not 3 Fist. 2, uh, two Fist. Cores, uh, base 400 B power, base 5 damage. Uh, Trox, uh, two shield cores, base 300 B power, base 7 damage, not bad. And Nilius Ultra, a fist and a magic shield, interesting. So base 600 B power and a base, uh, base 1 damage. Alright, it's pretty interesting. We get an Auralis Baku gear. We have yet to have Orlis Baku gear yet, but we do get a card for it, which is a rare uh, Baku Thrusters. I think this is all the generic gear that comes in these packs from what it looks like. Yet, yeah, they don't give you the right ones. I don't know. Anywho. Um, so, so let's take a quick look at Nilius before the other two Baku gone here. Yeah, so this one does have the silver painting on his... Uh, neck. Ooh, the heads are... Heads can go into any direction, pretty much. is interesting. I don't know. I like this Nilius. He looks pretty cool. I love... I, know that I love the gold on his chin. Uh, if there is a silver version with him, like, having silver on his... Uh, his neck and all that, and, like... Someone let me know, because I'm not entirely sure. If there is a version like that. This is... This is pretty cool. It looks much better in person uh, than it does on camera. I will, I will say that. Um, so now let's, before we look at those Baku Gone, let's look at the Baku Corns it comes with. Uh, so it comes with a magic shield of plus 550. Uh, it's not the best one. No, this is, it's not the best. Uh, 150 B power plus one damage. Uh, minus 300 B power. Uh, plus 100 B power, and for Aquas and, he and Ventus only, it's extra 3 damage. Uh, for Heos and Pyrus only, plus 400 B power, it's not too bad. Uh, then a plus 3 damage. Okay. Um, yeah, so now let's go ahead and roll out the other Bakugan here after I make a little hide matrix. There, I made me a little hide matrix. Uh, now let's go ahead and roll out Pegatrix because that's the one I picked up first. This is this is it in ball form. It does have a peg for a back of your hole there. Ooh, and see it's all it's a bit shiny at the end of the plastic. It looks better. You can see it pick up better in person on camera, but you see the glimpse right there. Anywho, the faction aqua symbol. The magnet is here, arrow is there, so let's go and roll it. Well, that didn't work, even though I rolled it the way the arrow told me to. Uh, but anywho, here is Pegatrix Core. New Pegatrix Core in Aqua's form. It looks pretty cool. Uh, 400 B power. There's that one. Uh, now let's take a look at... Uh, Trox. Oh, you can see, you can see his B power there. Uh, Heos symbol. 
arrow pointing this way, so let's roll him out. And he didn't pick it up either! So I don't know if this is a really heavy Baku core, even though it doesn't feel pretty heavy. Let's just try a different one. Anywho, there, there's Trox out there for you. close them because I don't know how to close them up yet. <laughs> this is my first this is my first trucks core and they don't give instructions for these things so I have no idea how the heck to close them up. Should be simple. Should be simple. There we go. The fudge how in the he's he's shifting so many things I have no idea. How to, there we go. Oh my goodness. Okay now let's try it again. Let's try to pick it up. Pick up the Baku core trucks. There you go. There you picked it up. You picked it up that time. Oh, maybe the Baku core is faulty. Now let's try it again with Pegatrix. If I know, I don't know how to close this one yet. So let me figure it out as I go along. I had it. There we go. We kind of have to fiddle with it. Let's try this again. And it didn't pick that up either. All right, maybe we have to do it backwards. Uh, Cause that seems to be a theme with like all the Pegatrix now. It's just rolling it backwards. Get, the, get your foot in there, get your foot in there, get your feet in there. All right, now this way doesn't work. Let's try doing it this way. There you go, you have to do it backwards. Like all Pegatrix does, they always, and whoever did this, the arrow, it goes the other way. <sighs> Apparently they don't test their Bakugan out how they roll them first before they ship them off. Nah, 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 nah. Huh, the Bakugan here, or on the bottom here. Now I do have the Aquas ones here. Uh, so let's just go ahead and see. <laughs> the head doesn't come out. Where's the, where's the magnet? Where's the magnet? Come on, there you go. There's the head. Uh, let's take a look at this thing. Let's put, uh, let's put the guns under. Oh, you can't see that. I'll zoom out, I'll zoom out. Okay. Alright, so let's attach the back gear to the Pegatrix. Because I just have the Aquas ones out at the moment. Uh, I don't have the Chaos ones available to me at the second. That's cool, we got the... Boom. Uh, now let's try to see if we can get the wings of Aquas on the, oh no, it would go on the bottom of it, wouldn't it? If I can close it on the bottom of Pegatrix. Oh, uh, it's like it's like on a jet ski or something. That's what it looks like. It's like it's, it's like it's a, like riding a, a jet ski or or something, and it's got guns out. Go faster than how it normally flies. If we do it. Like that. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, well that's how you attach wings of Aquas uh, to your Pegatrix right there. Pretty interesting in my opinion, or maybe you can have uh, maybe have these going the other way, uh, as thrusters, as, where is it, as Baku thrusters, that's what those could be, because I have no idea, because they gave, this should have been Wings of Aquas that came with in the Hydrus Ultra, but no, they gave it the Wings of Aquas care. <sighs> whoever, 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 you guys know what I mean, just whoever, get it together. There we go. Now it's got, I don't know, it can fly upwards now. I don't really know. If I did have my Chaos one out, I would try to put it on Trox here, but heck if I know that, it's going to work. All right, uh, now let's move on from that. Uh, let's close Pegatrix. And I'm figuring out, oh, well, there we go. It's like a ball now. I'm figuring it out as I go along. I have. Ugh. 
Because its body can do that, which is... Because, yeah, no, because a horse can definitely just do that and break its body apart. Okay. No, that's pretty cool design in the new Pegatrix here. I like it. I like it. I, sl I like the new Pegatrix design slightly better than the old one. Uh, which I have the Ventus one here to compare it to. I don't know. I'm not sure. Which one do you like better? Let me know in the comments below. Now that I'm looking at it, like at first glance, when he's like, ooh, a new Bakugan, it looks cool and everything. But then you look at it compared to the other older one, like, eh, I'm not sure which one is better design-wise, um, as opposed to which one's better playable. Um, let me know which one you like better, old one or the new one. Now with Trox here, he's confusing the heck out of me because he can do this weird shifting thing. He doesn't even look like a dinosaur. He looks like a snake. I'm sorry. I know, you know, lizard, tyrant, lizard. Oh, wait, here we go. He has arms that can come out. Uh, so now he just looks like a snake with arms. Because I guess these are his feet. But if you look at him like this, it looks like a snake with arms. I don't know. Can the mouth? His mouth doesn't even go up and down. It's like what you put his, put his head in, shift this over, tail, there. Okay, I get that now. Um, all right, now moving on to Nilius. Uh, or should we roll out Pegatrix? We did we did the frontwards and the backwards. Uh, now let's do the side for Pegatrix, just to see how that works out, I guess. Not too well, apparently. All right, well, I'll leave that be then. Uh, let's just move on to the main guy, Nilius, here. All right. So to oh to close him, let's see what we have to do. Is a level two. So let's see here. So his head has to go down, the neck back, feet, tail, wings, something. All right, I'll figure it out. Okay. So Nilius, you got to make sure his heads are all the way back and in. Uh, and I guess his his feet go up. Uh, then the tail goes in like that. I guess it just hangs there for a minute. And then you put, nope. Yeah, it just goes like in. Ah, and I dropped it. Careful. Uh, so the heads go in, legs up. The tail, if you can see it there, just goes like down and in, kind of like that. Uh, then the wings go around it, like so, and then finish off with the tail piece. All right, so this is in ball form. Pretty cool looking with all this gold painting, in my opinion. It does look better in person than on camera. Always the heads with this guy. All right. All right, now let's roll him out and see how he opens up and which way is better for whatever. Um, there's the arrow showing you how to do it. Boom, there we go. So he does spring. Oh, he can pick up two cores. Oh, that's cool. Um, so I don't know if that'll be like that for all of them, or just my guy is pretty lucky on his magnet that he can pick up uh, two Baku cores. So which ones did he pick up? One that's useless, and one with three damage. So that's pretty cool. How That was the one in front of him. So I don't know if that has to do with the factor of how strong his magnet is, or whatever these guys in let's try that again let's do that once more forwards just so i know um if that if that wasn't because he like fell onto it because he hit the cards or if that can be a thing that can be done i think it was just because he fell onto the cards um okay yeah so if you do crash into it 
and he does, and his tail does his tail tail can land on a baku core, and that can get pick it up. So that's pretty cool. Um, I haven't opened up. I have the um, the darkest one with the baku gear sealed at the moment. Um, I will be opening up later. Uh, that video will be up. Not for a bit. Not for like a not for a while. So 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 subscribe and turn that bell notification on so you know when that video goes up. The one with the the darkest gear and ultra and everything. Um, so I want to see how that guy's magnet works because maybe uh, Nilius Ultra here can be a good. Okay, you really have to pay attention to how you have have them in and everything. No, if you go up. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. All right. So now let's try it backwards. See how well uh, that rolling works. Ooh, backwards looks cool. Backwards works and it looks pretty darn cool. Um, now let's try it sideways. So I'm not, I'm like 50, 50, this will work. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Nilius, this, this is my new favorite Orlis Bakugan for whatever reason, just because of his design and everything. Uh, will I use him in a deck? Probably not. No. Uh, cause there's better Orlis Bakugan out there. Uh, but he looks pretty gosh darn cool, in my opinion. Um, I think it's like a one per case too, so you kind of have to be lucky with this and hope someone else doesn't snatch him up before you do. Uh, when I did get to my Walmart, it was like um, the whole case was just put up on the shelf. Not the whole case was put up on the shelf, but all the Bakugan that would have been in that case were on the shelf. And there was no diamond, uh, unfortunately. Oh well, why, why, why? Uh, but I do hope that I can find the a diamond uh, Armor Alliance 3 pack soon, as that's the only one I'm missing from this wave. Uh, but I do want the actual wave, like, Battle Planet 5, or like, not 5, uh, 7 and 8 ones. Because I do not have those, and no one in Canada has those except those who have bought them online from another guy that got them in the United States, or ones who actually, or people who have actually been to the United States, because they are lucky and rich. Not rich, but you know what I mean. Um, how does this guy want to be facing out this way? Alright, so there we have it. That's pretty much it for the... Uh, oh, the uh, Orlis Nilius Ultra Armored Alliance starter uh, starter set starter pack starter pack that comes with Aquas Pegatrix and Hayas Trox Core. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys found this. Um, your thoughts? Excuse me. If what your thoughts on this guy is? If you want to be using any of them in the teams what have you, um, because these are new Bakugan that we do have for this thing, uh, it's time to check them off our, uh, checklist, if I can find the marker I had, which I had it, like, a minute ago, and I have no idea there it is, found it, I didn't check them off our list here, um, so let's see, so Nilius, 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 there's no Nilius. Nilius is right there. Let's mark off the Orlis. Nilius. Oh, he will, he's not getting a diamond form, unfortunately. Only in Darkus, Ventus, Aquas, and Pyrus. Uh, Aquas and Darkus have gear. Um, yeah. No, I haven't checked it off yet because I haven't made that video on him yet. Uh, now, Pegatrix and Trox. Aquas Pegatrix I have now, and Chaos Trox I have now. That's pretty cool. Um, alrighty, now before we do end off the video entirely, it is time for our end of video booster pack. I am opening up an Age of Orlis booster pack because I got it from Prizing, and in this video because it is an Orlis Bakugan. Yay. 
Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. I am looking for Aquas Cubo Evo and this, because that's what I want, and that's really the only thing I need at the moment. <laughs> and it's a common, yet I've opened up so many packs and I have not pulled it yet. I doubt it, and it's stupid insane. All right, so first off, we have an Oralis card. Uh, so, and it's the Oralis Flip card Vacuum. For zero energy, stop Oralis. Uh, that's pretty good, because some decks have Oralis back on in it, more or less. This is like a 50-50 card to have in your deck. I wouldn't really recommend it, because there's only like one or two good Oralis back on at the moment, and not everyone wants to run it. So, you know. Uh, we have Pyrus Hypernelius Ultra. Pyrus Hyper Pyravian Ultra. Pyrus Hyper Zentor. Pyrus Titan Incendius. I'm seeing patterns. Ooh, Chaos uh, Titan Zentor. Darkest Webum Ultra. Darkest Hyper Trunk Seat. We haven't gotten this guy yet. We haven't. This is like the one Bakugan I want. Whatever faction, I don't care. I just want Truncanius. And here, can we have not yet have had Truncanius? Eh. Uh, Aquas Hyper Clothor Ultra and for a Hex. It is Ventus Web Whip. Two energy stop, or less Darkus or Pyrus. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I guess that sh that can be a one deck. That can be a deck, more or less. Hmm. Anywho, if you enjoyed this video of the Oralus Nilius starter pack of armor alliance make sure to leave a like uh comment uh, down below your thoughts on it and also your thoughts on spin master's distribution and if anybody knows the fact if canada or any other country will be getting uh wave like seven and eight uh singles and three packs please let me know because i really want those so much okay um yeah uh, subscribe and turn that bell notification on so you know when next video is up and for more. And until next time, just keep on brawling.